Hi friends, welcome to Yoga with Sarah Trapani. I'm so grateful for your presence here for this very brief, well-rounded, no frills yoga class. Just a nice instruction that's very down to earth and accessible. I hope you enjoy. Grab your yoga mat and I'll see you there. Let's start today's practice sitting nice and tall, right up through the crown of the head, lifting toward the ceiling. So we feel the back of the skull drifting away from the tailbone and the tailbone dropping straight down toward the earth. And take a moment to close your eyes and check in with how you feel today, taking this brief centering meditation to arrive in your practice, in your body, in this moment in time. Relax your jaw and notice your breath in its natural rhythm. If your mind wanders away, gently guide the focus back to the breath now and throughout this practice and drop your chin toward your chest take your hands together in anjali mudra it's prayer hands the heels of the hands connecting the thumbs connect to the center of the chest and set your intention for today what do you want to cultivate in this time on your mat let that help guide the effort that you put into practice and then on your inhale let's reach the arms out to a T, thumbs up. And then reach your right fingertips as far to the right as you can and look to the right. Inhale and then exhale, reach from that right sitting bone all the way to the left and look to the left. And then back to center, just one more time each side. Inhale, reaching, exhale back. Inhale to the left, exhale back. Now bring your palms together, draw your knees in uncross cross your other ankle on top and then start to reach forward 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 or the front of your mat and coming into that seated cross-legged forward fold for a moment with the feet a little bit flexed you can feel this more in your outer hips and we don't want to feel it in the knee joints so that little flex of the feet helps shift this into more of a outer hip stretch and breathing space into the back ribs and then look between your thumbs and roll over your knees Find your way onto all fours and we'll meet in a tabletop position. So finding yourself in this tabletop with palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Hang your belly down on the inhale, look up. Exhale, we're gonna round, curl the tail. And one more inhale, look forward, drop the belly. When you exhale, tuck your toes, hips to heels. Walk your hands forward quite a bit and stretch your sitting bones back. With toes tucked, we're stretching the soles of the feet and your forehead may touch the floor. Now on your inhale, wave into a modified plank. So shoulders are about over your palms, gently looking forward, hug your elbows in and lower down onto your belly. Take your feet flat. Now we'll take this baby cobra pose, back bend, tops of feet connect to the ground all the way to the baby toe. As you inhale, spread your chest, look forward or up, and then exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, press the ground away, Come back to child's pose. We're gonna flow through that sequence two more times with your breath. Inhale, wave into modified plank. Exhale, elbows in, come all the way down. Inhale, glide the chest through into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and come back to active child's. One more time, inhale, waving through. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, back. Tuck the toes, this time lift the knees and find a downward dog. Pedal out your feet and find that lift of the sitting bones high. Breathing there. You can always peek and see that your first fingers are parallel and you're spreading all your knuckles out. And when you exhale, you feel that low belly. Plug in and we're gonna walk our hands slowly toward the feet until the heels root, feet are about hip width, and fold in Uttanasana, letting your head go. Cupping your fingers under your toes, bend your knees quite a bit, and then as you inhale, wave up, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold and straighten your legs a little bit as you fold. Now inhale, bend your knees, lift your belly, your ribs, your chest, your gaze. Then exhale, melt and open your elbows and fold. 
One more time, inhale. And exhale, fold and hang for a moment. Shake the head, yes. Then slowly start to walk your hands in front of your toes and gradually walk your hands back into downward dog. Lifting the sitting bones high. Then wave into a gentle plank. Touch your knees down. Tuck your toes under, if they aren't already, and then sit toward your heels. Coming into this version of Thunderbolt Pose with toes tucked. Reach your hands behind, interlace your fingers, and drop your knuckles down, just opening up through the chest. Releasing the shoulder blades down the back, and gently gazing up. Inhale, lift the sternum up toward the sky. Exhale, we're going to bring the belly in and gently move over to the right and swing your legs around. So bring your legs out and extending straight out into Dandasana, pose of the staff. Hug your right knee in, right knee is pointing up. Now take your left fingertips behind, take your right arm on the inside of the knee and take that open belly twist. That left thigh bone drops down and you can press through the sole of that right foot so that your right gluteal muscle kind of picks up slightly off the floor as you turn. Right rib wraps toward left rib. That right arm on the inside of the knee can help you turn a little more deeply without force. And we'll inhale into the belly and we'll exhale, come on back. Now take your hands and interlace your hands on the sole of your right foot. Start to lift your foot. Plug that right thigh bone right into the hip socket. Sit up really tall, lift up the chest, and then draw that leg a little closer and you may be able to fold your forehead toward that right shin. You don't have to overdo. Peeling the outside edge of that right foot toward the outer hip. Finding the end of that exhale. And then gently release that right foot down to the ground. Take your hands behind you. Give that right foot a press and lift up your hips. And then release the hips down and slide that right leg out. And bring that left heel in toward the sitting bone. Left heel right in alignment with that sitting bone. Then as you turn, your right sitting bone can drag back a bit. And you can take your left arm on the inside of the knee. Draw that arm into the knee, and the inner knee into the arm. And turn. Sit up really tall. Dropping your right thigh. Inhale, expanding the belly. Exhale, come around to center, interlace your hands around the sole of your left foot, and then lift your left heel. That might be fine to stay. Open your elbows and begin to bring your forehead toward your shin, peeling again the outside edge of that left foot toward the outer hip. So that left thigh bone's really dropping and plugging into the hip socket, belly's carving in toward the spine, and gradually you could fold your forehead toward your right shin. Nice flex through that right foot. And then slowly release that left heel down, bringing that left foot back onto the floor. The left toes are pointing straight ahead, tented fingers behind you, press through that left foot and lift both hips up. Inhale, look up, exhale, lower down. And then slide that left leg out straight. Bring your big toes to touch and sweep your hands forward, touch your toes. Fold into Paschimottanasana, spreading your collarbones toward the feet and folding any amount. Finding that full back body stretch. Then go ahead and come on up and interlace your hands right back behind your head, thumbs down. Open your elbows, use your hands to give a lift right on the back of the head. Lift the back of the head away from the tail as you inhale, looking up. Then exhale, we're going to come back belly in, make your way down onto your mat slowly. Find yourself on the back, palms facing up. Wag your toes in and out. Let the floor cradle the back body in a way that allows you to release your whole spine, your hips, your shoulder sockets, and all the joints out into the fingers and toes. Feel the sturdiness and the support of the ground under your back. And then bring your feet a little closer. Start to flex your feet. Reach your arms overhead for an inhale stretch. 
And then exhale, hug that right knee in and give a gentle hug, tractioning that right thigh toward the side waist. And then half happy baby with the right arm on the inside of the knee and the right hand reaching for the outside edge of the foot or the ankle. And then go ahead and take that left arm up alongside the ear and hang that arm. Peeling the outer right foot toward the knee. If it's too intense, your left foot could be on the ground. That would be fine. Holding there. And then release that left arm down. Take your left hand to your hip. Bring that right foot to the inside of your left inner thigh so it's a reclined tree position. Rest your hands on your hip points. Relax your neck, relax your jaw. And let the shoulder blades glide into the floor. Notice if your jaw is clenched and relax and soften your jaw. You're gonna slide that right leg out and then hug that left knee in for a little squeeze. Good, and then half happy baby, reaching around for the outer left foot, ankle, or shin. Right arm reaches alongside the ear and hangs overhead. Right heel presses away from the hip or the right foot could be on the floor if that felt better on your body today. Peel the outer left foot toward the knee, but keep lengthening that left sitting bone away from your left ear lobe. Good, and then let that right arm come down. Take your right hand onto the hip, and that left foot touches on the inner right thigh into our reclined tree pose. Rest your hands on your hip points for a moment. Find that Moment at the end of the exhale where the belly is super soft and hollow and all organs just kind of dissolve. You tune into your heartbeat. And then slide that left leg out straight. Release your arms alongside the body, palms facing up. And we're finding a moment here. In Shavasana, but first let's go ahead and engage the gluteal muscles and clench your fists and zip your feet together. Take an inhale and then exhale, let everything go, let the toes flop open. Rest and soften in a final meditation where the floor is providing that sense of sturdiness. So you're able to let be, let everything be as it is. Softening the corners of the eyes and the corners of the mouth so that, that that softness can flow through the rest of the body. And as that softness flows through the whole body, as does your healing awareness. That's so one of the goals of asana is to bring equal awareness to all the cells of the body. So we get out of that thinking mind, the chatter of your mind, and disperse that energy through the whole body into the fingers and toes. And you can feel free to stay. And you can feel free to stay here as long as you want. Eventually, remembering your intention for practice today and taking your hands lightly on the belly. Finding gratitude for anything at all that you have to be grateful for. Starting to wiggle fingers and toes and reaching the arms overhead to take a resetting stretch. Lengthening and hitting that restart button. When you exhale, very gently and with compassion, draw the knees in toward your body for a hug. And then take your time to roll to either side for a brief pause before slowly pressing up into a seat where we'll meet together and I'll see you up there. Arriving in a tall, upright seat, lengthening through the crown. Shoulder blades drawing down the back. Bring your hands to heart center. And I'm thanking you for being here today. And I'm wishing you joy, peace, health, strength, courage, and always trust on the journey. Namaste. Thank you, friends. Please do like, share, subscribe. Spread the word about my channel. And that super thanks button helps support my efforts. And I would really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.